Uh, let's talk about the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, it's a popular item for cut cord cutters, people that are trying to find alternatives to Roku, a little bit more functionality, uh, has online gaming. Um, but what I'm here to talk about is how to use it as a, a streaming tool. Um, I'm a cord cutter. I've got an over there antenna. I get 45 channels. But I also want to get uh, other things that we can't get through the antenna. Netflix, Hulu, um, and some other things we'll show you when we, when we actually you know, film the, the TV screen and our menu and kind of how it's unique and to us very user friendly. And I think that anybody out there looking at an option that wants to do streaming and have their content how they want it, when they want it, will find it to be good. Um, so, you know, the Shield, we got the 16 gigabyte version. Felt like there was no reason for our, us to go and buy the 500 gig version when you've got USB ports on the back to plug in an external hard drive at a lot less than the extra 100 bucks they wanted. So spend 50, get a terabyte drive, pop it into the back end and, and you're good to go. So um, we're gonna talk about, again, how to use it for streaming, what our menuing system looks like. We did uh, root the device. Uh, we put on some custom uh, theme, if you will, and I can link to some of the more details in the description, but I uh, thought it'd be valuable to share how easy it is to set the, the shield up to be your basically uh, your alternative to what you might want to use. Uh, again, we use the over-air antenna as well as the shield, and we've got everything we need. We did, uh, like I said, root the device and put on uh, the Android 6, and... Uh, very happy with it. I think you'll be happy with it when you get it up and going. Uh, I looked online to see what uh, the Shields are, are doing now and how you can pick one up. I'm going to provide some links to that. Uh, they're $199 for the 16 gig version. Temporarily out of stock right now on NVIDIA's site, but they're going for $265 on Amazon at the, at the time of this filming. The 500 gig version are typically $299. Those are in stock at NVIDIA or they're $350 on Amazon. Of course, all that can change. Anyway, Watch the, the next part of this. We're going to show you what it looks like when we boot this up and what our menuing system looks like. Okay, so we're over here. We've plugged in the, the shield to the television set. We're using a Re remote. It's blinking now. It's looking for the device, which I haven't turned on yet. And what we find works here is what comes with the shield is this device here to plug in and this part here actually can plug in and charge the remote, which we do every couple of weeks or so. But uh, there's a USB dongle that helps us to communicate, which you could put on the back side of the shield, but it's hard for it to see the signal, so we just put it into this very wire that came with the shield. That's the dongle that helps the re-communicate. Uh, it's not Bluetooth, it's uh, the infrared. So we plugged it into the back of the shield, put our dongle for the re here, and just for us, we just tuck it in right there underneath the base of the television. So I'm going to power up the shield. You can see the green lights coming on. It's going to start looking for the signal, and you're going to see the boot screen. I'm also going to turn on the remote, which we really like this one. It has a feature where you can touch the button and the keys are backlit really nice at night when you're watching a movie. So let's wait for this to boot up. I wanted you to see that it actually is a shield booting up that you're watching. That's the Android screen that you'll see. Again, this is rooted. It's got uh, Android 6, and there's no gaming capability left. It's just your basic Android version 6. We've turned off auto update because we don't want to have all the updates coming in that could you know, potentially cause problems. Uh, sometimes I will get a notification that the, uh, the Play Store um, needs a new version. Anytime that happens, I go to APK Mirror and I look for Play Store and I download the latest APK, install it, and Play Store is good to go. That's the only app that wants to be updated occasionally. Okay, so here we are. This is what we use for uh, streaming content. Um, you can pick up this, this theme to run and install it. And by using your re, just come down and highlight what it is you're looking to do, what you want to access can't show content obviously for copyright protection laws or whatever but you can come in we can go under here we can go to live TV all the channels come up click them they will load it loads very fast 
when something starts to load, um, it'll come up, it'll look like this. In about 20 seconds, it'll change to the, the HD content. It takes, I guess, to set a moment for it to do its magic, whatever it is, to, to take the stream that's coming in and lock in. So we're going to wait just a moment where you can see that picture does. Boom, there it is. Now you're, now you're seeing it in HD. To get out, we just hit escape, and we're done. Now we can scroll through all of those different channels. And again, you just download the app, put in your login and password, you can stream it. Got everything you want. Escape out, escape out again. I can pick any of these. Okay. Uh, the other thing, if I go up, I can select this page. If I go over, I can select another page where we have access to the Play Store, use a task killer. Some, uh, occasionally, we can go down to the File Explorer and, and move files, reboot if we need to. Um, but just to show you the Play Store, if I hit Enter on my keypad, it comes up. Hit the magnifying glass, it comes up there and search. I did it search there, I'll drop down to, hit enter, boom, up it comes. It's very fast. Hit escape to back out. Um, what am I getting for speed? I use speed test, it comes up and it's looking for a server, and we'll show you what we have here. Begin the test. So, we've got great internet. Um, it is Wi-Fi, I don't have a cable plugged in. It's an AC router. This does have an AC capability, Wi-Fi built in. And it's going through uh, one wall, our router is, to, to send a signal to this unit. And it's, it's great at picking it up and bringing us to 100, 110, to 12 up. Okay, we're done testing. We just, again, escape, takes you back out of it, and you're back to your menu. So, so this is uh, the menu that we really find helpful. Um, again, we didn't want any of the gaming capabilities. We just wanted a, a device, a hardware device, to do the streaming that we wanted that wasn't, um, I don't know, glitchy or um, a whole lot of buffering issues. This is the strongest hardware item out there in my mind. Uh, you can look up the specs. It, it's great. But we just didn't want all the other functionality that came with it. So, again, we rooted it, put uh, this uh, Android 6 on it, put this load screen this menu system up and of course you can go to Play Store download all these apps that you see put a background that you want on there this just works for us so I hope you found that it's, it's uh, you know interesting content gives you an idea of maybe another way that you could go when you're trying to you know stream internet content Cody it's a free download after you download movies, you can make them accessible in your folder. These are all, all uh, movies that we've downloaded. They're on a USB card right now. It's plugged into the back end. Eventually, I'm going to put a terabyte drive into it and move them into it. But everything that you download, it is available. Just click it and play. Again, I'm not going to break any copyright laws by clicking on it and open these up. But it's pretty simple. And again, we, we did the uh, a theme here that looks at what movies you've downloaded and puts the the graphics up for you and we'll just hit quit and it exits and that's how fast it's it's really it's done um, so enough rambling I think that should give you good ideas what you can do hopefully it's something that sparks your interest and you think again about maybe that's the device for me this is all I wanted to do I don't need the gaming aspect you can go out and get information on the internet on on how to uh, get the various tools and files to uh, log into your device root it put down the different uh, firmware so that the uh, NVIDIA front end is off of it and only the Android uh, 6 is on it. And from there, of course, that's when you can download the apps and the, the themes and everything to, to give you that look and content. Works great. We could be happier. So um, good luck with everything out there. Share comments, questions, uh, subscribe. We're going to try to get you more videos about uh, different different types of things that we have and, and uh, spark some interest and ideas on, on how to get the content you want, the way you want it, when you want it with a great device that uh, it does a job. Thanks for watching.